Hi everyone and welcome. Today on the channel we have another monster homage to review from exciting new company Seastern Watches. Now this isn't the first attempt by companies at producing a homage to the Seiko Monster by any means. Uh, in fact I reviewed the Rectangular's Monster homage only in my previous video but this offering from Seastern is a little bit special. So without any further ado, let's get into the review. So, let's cover some of the dimensions quickly on this one before we move on then. So, this particular one has very similar dimensions to the real Seiko Monster. This has a 41.6mm width, it has a 13.6mm thickness, we have 20mm lugs, uh, we have a lug to lug distance of 46.5mm and Full size on all the links within the bracelet, this one comes in at 192 grams. Now obviously most people will remove a few links, so it will be slightly lighter. So, specs on this one. Uh, this one has 316L stainless steel throughout. Uh, that covers the bracelet, the case, the bezel and of course the crown. Uh, we have a flat sapphire crystal. Uh, again, uh, as I mentioned in the previous review, re very refreshing to see no massively blue AR coating on this one. I think it does have some AR on the underside, uh, but not that horrible blue tinge that you tend to see quite often. So very, very good news. This one houses the Seiko NH36A automatic movement. Uh, and as I'm sure all of you know, very reliable. Uh, one of Seiko's in-house own movements uh, should be no issues whatsoever. Now, a really nice addition on this watch uh, is the date wheel. As you can see, the kanji date wheel there showing the character for Friday today and today's date the first. Now, uh, on this one, the date and date wheel are actually loomed uh, in the same loom to match the hour markers. I'll show you that in a loom video uh, just a little bit later on. Fantastic really nice addition uh, as well as the solid 316L uh, stainless steel bracelet uh, it also has a milled clasp which is very very welcome uh, we also on this particular model have drilled lugs as well again very very welcome for those strap changes the monster is of course pardon the pun a bit of a strap monster uh, so you will be wanting to change the straps at some point i would imagine uh, and really nicely on this one as well i don't know if you can see that um, we actually have the addition on this one uh, of some nice quality fat spring bars now what does that matter, Chris? Well, it does actually. You can have a lovely bracelet, a lovely case, and if it's held together with really rubbishy, flimsy, thin spring bars, it makes the whole thing rattle, and this one doesn't. It has nice fat bars, which is the first time I've seen that uh, in a homage model, uh, and very fitting it should be the monster homage. So great to see that. Uh, and another uh, nice thing uh, from Seastern, is that the company is offering a one-year warranty on their watches, which is fabulous, uh, very good. Another sign that uh, the company are hoping these really do well and that they're quite confident in their own brand. Now, packaging for this one, I will put up some photos. Um, it's the standard armour box, which I really like. They're very, very secure in shipping and there's no issues with them. Uh, in the package, you get a free uh, link removal tool as well as a free spring bar. And they also sent a free rubber strap, which is fabulous. And the rubber strap's actually really nice quality, really suits the watch uh, and gives you a whole new look uh, straight out the box. So uh, really nice, really well presented, no issues with the packaging uh, and nice to see. Now, uh, as I mentioned, Seastern, um, I bought this particular one from their own website. There are other places to get them, namely AliExpress. I prefer to buy from them direct from their website, uh, and I will pop a, a, a little link up to their, into their website in the description, uh, and I'll show you. Uh, the website is actually really, really nice. Uh, it's nice to navigate. They, they do a few different homage models, and... From what I can tell, they all look to be pretty high quality. I ordered this monster, and I also ordered the Doxa Homage, which I'm still waiting on. Uh, and the, the line of watches that they're doing seem very, very good. And this, the website, I thought, was brilliant. Uh, I paid a little bit extra. This one uh, is listed at $175, US which works out to £130 there or thereabouts. Um, I think for an extra $30 charge, 
you can get express shipping, which I would say is well worth it. I opted for that and I received it in around about a week. So excellent website, well worth checking out. So with all the specs out the way, what are the outstanding features of this watch? Well, first of all, if you saw my rectangular monster review, uh, which I did last week, uh, the thing that let the rectangular down was that bezel. So how have Seastern done? Well, as you can see, the bezel on this one is very closely uh, resembles the original Monster bezel. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is a homage to that model after all. Uh, it's got a beautiful circular brushing on it. The numbers are really well inlaid with this black paint. Uh, and even the loom pip has been well executed as well. And the bezel action is superb. Don't know if you can hear that. 120 click, unidirectional bezel, uh, very, very firm clicks, very tactile, very nice to turn. Uh, it is a winner, really, really nice. There's no back play either. Fantastic, 10 out of 10 for the bezel, for the action, for the finishing, uh, and for the overall look of it, fantastic. Now, the case on this one, as mentioned previously, 316L stainless steel. Again, very nicely finished. I'll put some pictures up. Uh, you can see the level of detail there on those indents, the high polish and the vertical brush on the lugs and the midsection of the case. Very, very nice attention to detail and really, really well finished. I would go as far to say that it's as well finished as a genuine Seiko Monster. Now, the case back on this one, again, I'll put some photos up. Case back on this one is really, really nice. It is uh, the company... I should have pointed out the company the Seastern is actually German for starfish um, and it's not as wacky as some of the names out there I actually quite like it I think it's a good name for a watch model uh, and this is of course echoed uh, with the starfish logo on the crown as you can see there nicely engraved uh, some nice detail there and of course on this uh, case back as well so as you can see Again, um, a nice nod to the model that it's homaging, the Seiko mo Monster. The Seiko Wave, a variation thereof, uh, with a sort of jumping, leaping starfish coming from the wave. Really nice, uh, and a, nice to see it echo in the design um, throughout the whole watch there. So, as I mentioned, the crown uh, has this very nice uh, engraved starfish, um, but the knurling of the crown is just superb. Um, Obviously, you can't feel it. The knurling is really quite deep and it's really, really grippy. Makes it really easy to unscrew and screw down. Uh, and the action of it actually screwing in is very good as well. So, uh, yep, very, very good crown. And I think uh, the crown and glory of this model, it perhaps isn't showing up too well on video due to the rather poor lighting today, uh, is that dial. The dial is just sensational. Uh, I, I I like the sort of um, introduction of different colours and I picked up this teal version. Uh, I really liked it. And in reality, I don't know if it quite shows up. Um, it's actually a sort of metallic teal. And that dial uh, is a sunburst sunray effect. Uh, it is really, really nice. The level of finishing, uh, I think, on the dial is fantastic. And something that you don't normally see in a watch at this price point. I mean, let's be fair, this is uh, under $200, £130. You know, the level of finishing on this dial is superb. The text is nice and crisp. Uh, the hour markers are executed really, really well. Uh, there is uh, also that uh, loomed date and date wheel. I'll show you a close-up of that. You can see some what looks like graininess. Uh, that's just because I'm under extreme macro and, of course, it is loomed, um, which, of course, it won't show up uh, in normal day-to-day -day use. Um, but, yeah, the, the dial is just superb. The hands also... They've went with a short, sort of a traditional monster handset um, and the finishing on the hands is just superb. There's no sharp edges, there's no uh, raggedy uh, unfinished parts. It just, it, it's really done to a very high standard uh, and very impressive when you look at it close in. So let's talk about the loom then. Um, on their website, uh, Seastern uh, say that this is simply a Japanese loom. Uh, they don't seem to go into much more detail than that. As you can see, 
Uh, the loom is fantastic. Uh, I don't know the exact compound. It, it may be a, a BGW9 compound or derivative thereof or mixture thereof, but certainly it does glow blue and it glows very, very well indeed. Uh, you can see that they have filled those loom plots and the hands very generously indeed. And the addition of that loomed uh, date and date wheel is just a lovely little touch. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it just lifts it up that little bit. Uh, just adding to the loom value of this watch uh, and if you're a guy that loves your loom then this is definitely a winner for you. So what's the verdict then? Uh, like I said there has been other companies produced uh, monster homages before, uh, absolutely there has. Um, so this is Seastern's uh, sort of foray into homage watches, they have released several different models, this is the monster variant, what do I think? I think it offers amazing value for money. It has great specs, great level of finishing, attention to detail, all rolled into this very affordable package from Seastern. I say if you're looking for an alternative to the Seiko Monster on a budget, this is the monster homage to buy. It is superb. So if you liked the video guys please do leave a like and subscribe as i mentioned a few videos ago i've only been uh, actually reviewing watches for a couple of months now and your support through subscribing uh, uh, and getting the content out there would be greatly appreciated i will of course leave a link in the description to below uh, to the rectangular monster homage if you want to check that out i'll also uh, leave a link to seastern watches website Please do check them out, they are fantastic, I had a great experience buying from them and also uh, if you would be interested in seeing a, perhaps a three-way side-by-side -side comparison between this, the rectangular and a genuine Seiko monster, uh, let's get them all together and see how they do, then uh, leave me a wee comment down below and we'll get that video organised. Alright, thank you folks and I'll see you in the next review.